This video was sponsored by Come to Us. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Chief, aka the Chef, aka the Arena Champion, bringing you another episode on Skylanders Ring of Heroes. We're inside of today's episode. We're going to be increasing the stats across our board for all of our Skylanders, and we're going to be getting into some crazy action. Now, if you guys haven't already downloaded Skylanders Ring of Heroes, it's Come to Us's newest turn-based RPG. I've got a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Thanks to Come to Us for sponsoring this episode. But inside of today's video, I'm going to focus on how to increase the stats for your different Skylanders inside of the game. Personally, for myself, I've got a lot of work to get done and then after we're done there we're gonna go ahead and get in some battles and hopefully pick up some wins but let's go ahead and talk about stats right now now, for each and every Skylander, there's multiple ways you can increase their power across the board. Now, obviously, the very first thing you can do is level up your Skylander. Basically, how you're going to be able to do that is either by one, going into a couple of battles and simply gaining XP by destroying your opponents and winning matches, or number two, if you take a look at potions, you can collect these different red potions inside of the game, and you can apply them to different Skylanders and help them gain levels really quickly. This is really useful if you have new Skylanders that you just summoned and you want to level them up fast without having to grind out the early game. So I totally recommend doing that and leveling up your Skylanders is going to give you big rewards as far as your stats go. Now, not only that, you've got so many other ways that you can upgrade your Skylanders. Take a look at the power up. Basically with the power up, you can continually increase the power levels of your different Skylanders across the board. You're going to need some soul stones, which you can actually end up getting uh, by far farming certain um, battles, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second, as well as you need to upgrade elixir, which you can collect from quests in a couple of different areas. But let's talk about those different soul stones. So how you want to get in and be able to find those. If you look in the top right, you can see the puzzle piece button with the ad. If you click that, it'll show you different options on how to get it done. Let's just go to the wash buckler, for example. And you can see if I play the misty bog on normal and I get into a couple of battles, this is where I'm going to be able to find those pieces for the washbuckler and use those towards powering him up. Totally recommend leveling up your, your uh, different Skylanders across the board as well as powering them up and you're going to find yourself doing way more work whenever you get into battles. Now, not only can you level up and power up your different Skylanders inside of the game, but you can also equip each and every one of them with runes, and you're going to find yourself getting way more power out of your Skylanders, depending on the runes you put into them. Now, taking a look at the Washbuckler here, you can actually take a look at each and every rune. There's six total that you can have per Skylander, and whenever you click a rune, you can click the power up button, and just for using some gold, you're able to try to power them up. So let's go ahead and try to upgrade this one right here. Basically, it's going to increase my, my attack across the board, and every single time you go in to upgrade them, sometimes they'll fail, sometimes it'll go through. And you'll find your rooms getting up your runes getting upgraded over and over and over again and you're gonna find yourself putting in some work all right not bad this one's a pretty difficult rune to get done right here so we had quite a few failures but we were able to get it to where we wanted to go i'm gonna go ahead and cut that off right there but if you also take a look on the top right there's different set effects for when you fill the correct runes in the right place you can see from this one it's an energy set to where I'm going to get a 10% HP buff across the board. And if you take a look at all of these different uh, runes you have here, some of them will sort of align with each other. There's different energy runes. You can see that one's a strike rune right there. And basically, whenever you put these into place, you're going to find your different Skylanders picking up different bonuses. And you want to make sure that across the board, you're using your runes effectively and matching them up to get those set bonuses because it's a great way for increasing the stats for your Skylanders and putting in some work. Moving on from those runes, we do have the evolve feature inside of the game where you can evolve your different Skylanders. And if you take a look here, it's going to increase the star level of your Skylanders. And for example, my Washbuckler here, it's going to go from a four star to a five star. Now, by going to a five star, it's going to increase your level maximum. You're going to get a bunch of different bonuses across the board and get some really nice stat buffs when you go in. And basically, to be able to get that done, first and foremost, you have to reach the level requirement, which for the Washbuckler would be level 50. And then also, you need to have those soul stones that you can put in work with and end up being able to upgrade your Skylanders. Now, finally, for the first time ever in any Skylanders game, you are avail you are uh, able to awaken your different Skylanders, and this is an epic way to put in work and get a crazy amount of value. Look at this here. First and foremost, you do need a ton of soul stones to be able to get that done, as well as you have these different water ores, which you can farm inside of the distorted dimensions. So those different distorted dimensions that you do in the very beginning, especially along the quest line, they'll introduce you to them. That's where you're gonna be able to find these. And if you take a look at my stealth, Elf right here. This is the one that I've been working on for so long. And I've actually got enough life ore to get it done. I do need a legendary life ore as well as a few more soul stone pieces for the stealth elf. But you're going to find yourself getting a crazy amount of value for whenever you go in with these different awakened, uh, awakened Skylanders. Now, taking a peek once again, you can go over to that puzzle piece, click add, and find out where to farm those different resources that you need uh, to be able to get your Skylanders up. And for the stealth elf, that's definitely someone I want to go in with sometime soon. 
Just as an example, let's go ahead and try to upgrade our hot dog right now. If you see the power up tab, you can see the little red dot next to it, which means, hey, you've got something new going on. And if you take a peek, I do have enough soul, soul stones in place to be able to upgrade our hot dog up a level. And then if you take a look at the upgrade elixir, we have enough to get that done. So having those in place is gonna increase uh, this, this little power up level of our hot dog right now. So let's go ahead and get that done, spend the gold that we need, and that's gonna go ahead and give us a nice stat boost, plus 20 attack, plus six defense, as well as plus 32 HP for getting the job done. Now, not only can you do that, you can obviously evolve as well as awaken and do so much more work. Basically, for more or less, it's the amount of time that you're able to put in to get that done. For my um, hot dog right now, I'm actually pretty close to being able to get that to the next uh, level as far as evolving goes, and that's going to be able to increase my maximum level up to level 30. So I'm super excited to get that done, and why not for the rest of the day, we put in some work and see how far along we can get inside of the Skylands. So hopping into battle now, I have a pretty nice composition laid out. You can see I have Hex, who's super strong for hopping into the center of the forest. I've got Spyro as well as my Stealth Elf. Let's go ahead and do this right now and see if we can pick it up. Now we did change our difficulty from easy to normal. So it's gonna be much more difficult opponents for us to be able to get the job done. And let's go ahead and see if we can target in right now and uh, get done what we need. Now, obviously Hex is gonna be a big uh, beast for us on uh, when I'm facing against these different elements. So let's go in. Hex is gonna be able to take that sheep so low and actually crush it on the first rotation which is really nice. I'm gonna focus on that. Spyro, not a bad option as well, but really with Hex, I wanna make sure that I'm spamming Hex whenever her cooldowns are available because she simply puts in so much work. Again, using that mana effectively. You gotta make sure that your mana management is on point if you wanna pick up a lot of wins here. And let's just go ahead and bring out our little chompy right now and see if we can put in some work. Not bad. All right, looks like we've got Hex going in once more, gonna start chomping away and lining up some more of our abilities. Letting the rest of our uh, mana go ahead and heal or uh, fill up, we can actually go ahead and get Hex ready with yet another beatdown. Uh, Chompy not really gonna do too well. I've been using a lot of blue, blue potions on him. He's up to level 18, which is actually really nice. And going in, okay, we're super close to getting this done. Let's just go ahead and line up a couple more attacks. Most of our Skylanders are actually like really healthy right now, which normally for these modes, I can actually struggle a fair bit, but that's why it's really nice to be able to keep control over everything you have going on. One more Phantom Orb is going down, and that's going to be a really nice step. All right, let's keep it up. Moving forward here, looks like we've got some opportunities to put in some work. I'm going to go ahead and just get Spyro, as well as my Stealth Elf, putting in some work before we rotate right back onto our Hex. Looks like we're finally going to have that done. Spooky Energy is going to be flying out, and this is looking pretty straightforward so far. And I've definitely been grinding a lot at the lower levels and trying to farm up different materials. I've got my Hex up to level 28, so she's turned into an absolute beast. And I can't wait to awaken my very first Skylander, which I'm hoping will be the Stealth Elf. With the Stealth Elf, you do get a lot of uh, the different uh, Soul Stones uh, early in the game, so I'm hoping to get that done. But let's keep on moving in. I'm just going to start spamming some more of my abilities at this point. I think we're in a really nice spot. Hopefully Spyro doesn't get smashed down right there. Wow, that one actually hurt big time. Looks like we're finally able to pick up uh, a kill right there. And one more, come on, give me something right now. I'm gonna see if we can do this and that's gonna be GG well played. Three stars on this map and we're gonna go ahead and get that job done. Not bad. All right, so with that third star, we're gonna get some nice XP across the board. We'll actually get our Spyro up to level 25. And I did actually end up getting some potions uh, somewhat recently as well as we got a blue potion right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use those potions to get more XP towards your different Skylanders, and let's go and do that right now. So checking out our Skylanders. By the way, I have so many to summon. That's something else I wanted to show you guys today. But let's go and do that by summoning all these different Skylanders. We've got Wallop right here, who looks like an absolute monster. Look at those double, like, golden hammers right there. We've got Zook. Uh, looks like we've got some different elementals and really filling out the different elements inside of our Skylanders, we're gonna be able to build ourselves the best team going into each and every battle. And that's what's super nice. Especially early on, you're limited to the amount of elements that you have and the different Skylanders that you have. But as you grind through and beat a couple of, uh, you know, different quests, you're picking up different mission rewards, you're gonna find yourself putting in some serious work. All right, Tough Luck is gonna be the next one right there. And the final one is gonna be the Gorilla Driller, the support that everyone seems to rave about right now. And that's gonna be some absolutely beautiful stuff right there. And okay, let's go and circle back to where we were. So with Hex, we can go ahead and spend and, uh, actually, I don't have any red potions right now. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to our little companions right now. And with Chompy, I've just been feeding uh, blue potions over and over and over again. Let's go and do that right now. And actually, we're gonna get Chompy so close to max. And let's go and do that. That's gonna be 20 out of 20 for Chompy. Not bad at all. And of course, just like your different Skylanders, you can level up your companions right now. But taking a peek, I don't quite have what I need to get uh, Chompy evolved as well as I don't have the upgrade elixir to get that done, seeing as I just spent that uh, previously. But looks like we will get a couple of red potions right here as well as another 
little summoning ticket. So why don't we go ahead and keep on spending those? Not bad. All right, checking out the, well, I was gonna go to the quest right there, but let's go ahead and go to our inventory, check out our general because that's where our normal ticket's gonna be. Able to open up another chest and let's see what we see what we get inside of this. I'm praying for some stealth elves. That would be really nice to get that done right there. It looks like we're gonna get Fling Kong right now. And uh, maybe we'll get, well, actually, Fling Kong, we're getting a lot for right there. So that's not bad at all. Shadow Spyro is looking good. And that's not the worst thing in the world. So hopping into one more battle right now, let's see if we can finish off this quest in style. Again, I tell you guys to always follow the quest line and make sure that you're getting each and every reward along the way. It's the best way for learning the game, even more so than a YouTube video or anything else. Following those quests and knowing when it's time for you to go in uh, is gonna be super helpful along the way. All right, Broccoli guy, you gotta get out of my face right there. Let's do some critical damage with Hex, who honestly, I'm so happy I found so early on in the game. Uh, very nicely done, moving forward. We've got a little bit more damage coming on through. Don't even mind if they target Spyro and honestly for me you know if I don't get um if I don't get three stars on this this isn't the worst thing in the world I'm just gonna quickly spam some more of our attacks get the stealth up going in T level 27 stacks up pretty well against a lot of these guys and that's gonna be one more smackdown from Hex now it looks like we can just go ahead and get one more attack rolling on through Spyro is taking some serious damage and all right, doesn't look like Spyro is going to be able to get that job done for us. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this one right here. And of course, you can use auto attack if you want to. You can use so many different things, but let's just go ahead and go in. I'm going to put Chompy down right now, starting to line up a lot of my attacks. Spyro actually did end up getting blasted right there. And this is where things are going to get pretty serious. We're going to be fighting against the boss, transforming to a giant Chompy. What in tarnation? Okay. All right. Well, looks like Chompy's about, giant Chompy's about to explode right now. Phantom Orb's coming on through, trying to get Spyro to go in. Giant Drop is going to smash smack all of our Skylanders. What in the world? All right, I'm going to go in with a Blade Smash and hopefully a uh, Hex is the one that's not going to be targeted throughout the rest of this. We are so close to getting this, but I don't know if it's going to run on through. Our cooldowns are activated. Oh no. Giant Drop is going to put in so much work right now. And unfortunately, unless we can... No. That's going to be GG well played. Oh, so close to getting that dub. But guys, this is why you need a upgrade your different Skylanders and increase their stats, you're gonna be facing a fat L like me. Anyways, lots of fun playing Skylanders Ring of Heroes today, guys. If you haven't downloaded already, make sure you do so by using that link in the description below. Thanks to comp to us for sponsoring this episode, and hopefully inside of the next one, I can show you guys how I've beaten that level, and maybe my Skylanders will be a little bit, you know, better across the board. That's gonna do it for this episode. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.